everybody. We are back here for some more grooming. Um, this video, we are going to do a little bit of work on a difficult coat, uh, which in a set of terms means it's soft, it's woolly. Uh, I'll get her to stand up in a minute um, and show you um, what I mean. Now, it, this code, she, now, first of all, she's she's nine and a half um, and she's been through quite a lot of health issues, including a um, thyroid problem, which is difficult to manage with her. It's not quite straightforward. Give her the pill and everything's going to be great. Um, and that was partly the reason why she's also been shaved off uh, about four or five times. Um, she was shaved all of her last year. She was kept sh shaved off with a ten blade, which is incredibly short for a setter. That's almost that's more or less to the skin. And um, uh, it was mainly for her health reason, for health reasons that I've shaved her off now. Um, so that's not going to. I think shaving affected her code more. Um, then uh, the spay itself, she was spayed after her first season at the, um, she was about 13 months and um, she had very nice coat um, for until she was about between two and three and then everything started to change as the thyroid issues became more obvious but we didn't know that, she had a lot of symptoms and thought thyroid issue got missed because um, everybody vets and breeders I knew her coat wasn't right but I was always dismissed as this is the spay coat and this is what you're gonna get and when she was five and a half finally I um, kept going on and on about her uh, general well-being and uh, her very poor coat quality and we discovered she was severely severely hypothyroid she had every single symptom, including aggression, um, which is very not like her at all. She's a sweet, very sweet, lovely natured girl. Um, so we started fixing her, but um, really it was the nutrition that made a big difference. And we not quite there yet. She had a better coat than this, um, but I'm hoping that um, we can still bring it back. I might end up shaving her again. Everything depends on how she's doing health wise. But at the moment she's doing well so we're keeping the coat see we'll see what grows um but um you can work with a coat like this it's never going to be beautiful um but you can get it under control and get rid of some of the curl and wave and thin it out carefully um with the right nutrition that will help you along and um, also with uh, a nice conditioner and good drying technique, you can really smooth this coat out and she can look presentable. Um, like I said, she's never gonna look beautiful because I mean, I don't know if you can see, you can't even get to her skin. The coat is just so thick uh, and very, very soft and woolly. Um, and this was really from the clipping rather than the spay. Um, so actually the most beautiful coat she ever had was about a year, year and a half after she was spayed. Um, so really spay had nothing to do with any of this. Um, so, right, we're going to make a start. First I'll get her to stand up. Now, um, stand up, shall she'll be up, up. Good girl. Good girl. Can you stand up? Shell, up for a minute. Good girl. So as you can see, she's an old girl. She didn't have a walk today because we're gonna bath her as well and that would be too much on her. Her back end's really weak. So for the stripping, she's gonna lay down for all of it. Um, and believe it or not, I've already actually taken the bulk out of this side. Uh, not the top line over there, but uh, this side and the thighs and the shoulder here, 
we've already taken a lot out. So it looks still very scruffy, it's still very thick, but if I'll turn her around and I'll show you the other side, that one's a little bit worse, and that's the side we're gonna work on. Uh, so as you can see, this is a lot, lot worse. It's thicker, it's curlier, there's a lot more brown in there. And for a pet dog, uh, she's got a little bit of feather that I've never shaved off on there and on her hock and the rays are kept long. Her tail was shaved off so that she hasn't got much there. Um, and we are basic shape for a pet dog. Um, if your dog is really overgrown and you're not sure what to pull out and what not. Um, right, I'll just move her back a bit. Right, she'll be back up, back up, back, back. Good girl. No, no. Right, and up now, up, good, up. That's a good girl. So, stay there now, Poppet. Stay there. So, um, what we will strip on her, or where we start, and I divide the dog into sections because this isn't going to be done in one session. Um, so, we've got, a, I tend to section a dog up, so I've got the neck, and then I'll do the top line, sort of a strip through the middle, uh, that will be my other section, uh, and the croup and a little bit around the butt there. And then we clear up the, stay there baby, uh, the shoulder. Um, and then we've got two sides that we'll work on, that's another section. And then, shell, you really want to see yourself in the camera. And then we're going to clear up a little bit of this thigh into the V and leaf. She had quite a lot of thick feather on her thighs so it's just going at the moment you can't see where her thigh is but when we'll start stripping it we will come up to about there and leave this long into the feather to grow back and also here on the sides it's not very clear where I will put my line with the feather it really depends what we'll start growing back uh, and how much we'll strip off on the side um, so we're going to work on this side but first we'll um, do the the neck and the top line and then we've got this side uh, to do so right shall we sit I'll just sit her this way look at me chill this way good girl sit down good girl that's it right um, I will need her to sit so good girl you can sit for a minute you'll be all right see for a minute there you go Baba. good girl Right, um, now, and uh, <laughs> maybe perhaps slightly into the camera, shield this way. That's it, good girl. Slightly into the camera. Right, so we're gonna do a little bit, I'll show you through the, the middle bit there. Now, stripping a code. Uh, as I mentioned, it will take in stages because if you pulled out everything that sticks out, you would end up with a really thinned out coat and you don't want that. And you probably can't see on the video, but she has this brown soft hairs coming through, but she also, in some places, I don't know if the camera will show it well enough, she has quite nice coat and there's sort of like guard hairs running through the coat which have really nice texture they are jet black and the aim is to remove all the fluffy fuzzy hairs and leave as much of those guard hairs um, as possible you can more feel it in a coat you probably won't be able to see it in the, in the video um, but we will every two or three weeks if we come back to this coat and strip a bit more and more. What you we want to achieve is layered uh, coat, uh, top coat. Um, so you want the hairs at different stage of growth. Because uh, at the moment, everything is one length where she's been shaved off or if your dog's been left overgrown, you know, uh, six months or so. The hair, everything's one length and if I'll strip everything out, it'll be too fine. Um, sit down, sit, baby. Good girl. Uh, you want to lay down? All right, Baba. Lay down then. Shell. 
Lay down, get yourself comfortable. That's a good girl. We're gonna need another side of you though. Right, that's not the good side, Chill. I need the other side, baby. I do. Um, so we want to, every two or three weeks, if we pull out the hairs, then when we come back to strip another layer of the coat out, the ones we did before are gonna start growing back. So there will be tiny little short hairs, they will start coming through, so you're not gonna pull those out again. Uh, and that way, if we keep going, you will slowly layer the coat nicely and eventually remove all the dead hair. And that's why you really need to put in hard, some hard work. There's no quick and easy fix to try to make it nice. Um, it's just really a lot of hard work. Um, so we're gonna start with the side that's not been touched. She was shaved off in October. Um, and really, this is what we've ended up with now. So, Shelby, you're wrong side, baby. Turn around, turn around. Right, lay down. Good girl. That's the side, lay down, good girl. That's the side we want, good girl. Now, um, no, lay down, down, down. I'll just pop your leg out there. That's it, and you can go bye bye. Um, and, um, so she's gonna sleep now, or lay down. First thing what I do, and I will use a coat king. And now again, I don't use this on the very nice show dogs, but on a coat like this, uh, you get away with using it once to remove the good bug that will save you a hell of a lot of time. Um, so that's what coat king is. It's got little sharp knives with it. You won't scratch the dog because they, bent a bit um, and I will only go with the coking over each section just the once um, because this will remove even the hairs we don't want to remove uh, but at the moment she's just too thick and uh, this will cut a lot of the time and we're going to rake the coat out in the direction we want it to grow so if you've got a spiral that grows sort of upwards that way and we want the coat to lay down nicely that way that's the way I will rake it out um, and really we want the neck and top line to go straight back towards the tail on the shoulders we come down towards the elbows on the sides we also come down towards the belly and on the th thigh we also come straight down towards the knees um, and you might be able to see where, and in a lot of places the hair grows that way anyway. So I'll um, start on the back of her neck. Good job. Um, and she's got pretty decent coat actually on her neck there, so that's not too bad. And I will go through the middle like this. We'll just go once. And you can see it's really pulling a lot of dead hair out. So, and we'll just go down and again, and then you might want to take the hairs out and then we'll just rake some of this coat out and I've not done the neck on this side so I'll just go there because um, if you keep going over the same section with this um, coat king you will remove a little bit too much coat at once um, the aim is really not to then use it again if we're going to stay on top of her and strip her every two to three weeks. I won't need this, I will use the next tool which I'll sh show you later. So we will just do the through the middle, through the top line. Um, and as you can see, look, that we've already removed this much and that would have taken me a long time by hand. So we're just cutting corners a little bit with this coat and on the pet dog. And we'll go over the shoulder once. On each layer, we go down once. And then down the side, slowly into the sides. Now I will come into the thighs Good girl. And we'll just rake the bulk out like this. And then 
nice. In there again, but she's really thick there. And then we'll just do the sides toward, down towards how we want it to grow. And we'll just do a little bit of that. Now, as I uh, stay. Now, a lot of myths around the coat kin is that it damages the coat. It doesn't damage the coat as such. Uh, it just removes too much of it. So then when the hair starts growing back, um, it grows in every direction, like on her, you can see. And that's what that's why it's not advised to use a coat king um, on the set of coats. But she's been coat king a lot. As I said, this is far too thick. Um, so on her, I will use it because it does save me a lot of work. And now we'll move on to the next tool, which this is pretty much what you would do most of your show coats with. And that's just an ordinary comb. And it's got rubber bands uh, threaded through. Um, and these bands will rake a lot more hair out, but it's a lot more gentle and it will grip the hair that's ready to come out. Uh, so this is preferred way to use on show coats if you need to remove a lot. And um, I, I, it's just a plain old comb. You can use one like that as well. Um, and I prefer the handled one. And these rubber bands, for those that live in England, the best bands are the ones that your postman drops all over your driveway. Uh, so these are the postman's bands. I always pick them up off the drive and they're fabulous for this. And you, they are for free and you get plenty of them uh, because you will need to replace the band at some point. And now we're gonna start raking with this. And you can really rake as much as you like with this one, even on the show coats, because this will not do any harm. And we'll just keep going and you can go over and over the same section a few more times. So if, as you can see, we are pulling out a lot of dead coat. And this is how you will keep working your way through. And the rubbers are gripping really nicely. And again, we're going in the direction we want the hairs to grow. So there we go, you see this really coming out quite nicely. And this is all, the, the coat can, can remove even the good coat, as I mentioned, but this rubber comb will only remove your soft, fluffies, horrible vet coats that you want out of there. Um, now, if you're Gordon, I've seen many of those pet ones that have never been groomed and they tend to grow really long, browny hairs, pretty much everywhere. And that's the best tool to just keep raking until you get all of that long hair out. Because as I showed you in the sections, you know where you should have the short coat and then your feathers. Um, so if your Gordon's growing big long hair everywhere, just keep removing everything from those sections I said, leaving where your feathers would be. Um, so I'll try to clear one section as much as I can with this so that you get to see what a difference that will make and obviously next session with her trying to get this coat out um, I won't use a coat king uh, I will just use this and keep raking more and more um, <clears throat> and uh, we'll do a few little bit of hand stripping with the gloves so I'll show you a bit of that as well and we'll just try to get one section stay where you can see just how much it's coming out and some places will be thicker than others um, some will come out easier than other sections on her she is it's quite tough to get it out on her shoulders there that she grows a lot of uh, fuzzies in there um, good girl are you not going to come off that table Right, do you want to go lay down on your side? That's a good girl. And now she's going to get comfortable 
and I can keep working. But I'm still not going to keep her here half a day. Um, we're just going to do an hour or so on her, and then I will bath her and show you that even though it's still just after one session with the right conditioner and the correct drying technique uh, you can really flatten all of these curls you can see how curly she's like all a sheep um, you can really flatten it out nicely uh, using a bristle brush when you blow dry it and that will really smooth it out nice um, and she can look presentable for the following next weeks and months while we're working on this coat and getting out. Good girl, good, good boys. There you go. And we'll just keep raking. Now, down here at the bottom, that would be all her feathers, so we're going to leave that. Uh, as they grow longer, you can run your rubber comb over the feathers a little bit if you've got them either too thick or they've got too much dead hair and very browny feathers you can just run your comb through it make sure it's not knotted first um, and um, take some some dead hairs out of the feathers as well um, but she hasn't got really any and here on her legs they're so thin and fine so not going to take anything out of there just yet um, as you can see it's really coming out and that's really all what you're going to do so i'm going to pause now and um, you will run through each section like that and you can divide this one more thing you don't have to do the she had one side done a couple of days ago but now we, I'm showing you this side, but you can just do one section each day. So for example, if you're going to make a start, let's say on a one day, you will do your neck at the back and both sides, and you'll run the top line through and you clear some of the hair out of there. The next day you can go back in and maybe clear both of your shoulders. The next day again, you can go back in and clear both of your thighs. Um, and then the last you'll go, or whichever order you decide to do it, then you'll go back and clear some of your sides. So you don't have to do the whole side or the whole dog in one day. You can do if you want to, but we're not gonna remove too much at once, because like I said, we want to layer this coat nicely and not make it so thin. Um, because if I want it to in one session remove all of everything that sticks out of place she would end up with very very thinned out coat um, which wouldn't be very pretty so we'll just do a little bit and then I will pop her in the bath because um, she needs one she had one bath only since October and we're now in almost mid-March um, so she really is overdue a bath um, and look, look how much is coming out. Look, that's just pretty good. So, and you'll just keep going a little bit each time. Then you'll get two or three weeks. Then you can really give them a nice bath. Once you've cleared your first session, once you've cleared some of this hair, then you can give her a bath. Uh, and she will have a bath today. She's not had a walk uh, for this reason because that would be too much for her on one day. She's quite weak and uh, in the bath sadly and for drying she needs to stand so that's why she's not had a walk today. Um, she's quite happy to chill out at home with daddy. Um, some days she doesn't want to go out and I just leave her. She knows what's best for her and how much she can cope with because her spine's very arthritic and she struggles to get up sometimes she has good days and sometimes she's a lot more stiff but as you can see the dogs really don't mind doing this and if you've got a young young bouncy dog um, you can do this after the walk when they settle down to sleep you can teach them to just lay still for you and while they have a little snooze you can just rake some of the hair out and then after this in the bath 
she will have uh, two, three weeks break and then we'll go back in and we'll start clearing a bit more with the comb and the fingers and we'll start working a bit more in detail on some of these sections. But I'll just show you now. So we'll, good girl, good girl. So this is really just the initial dead coat coming out. And again, you'll get little, they're not flakes. It kind of looks like a dust in the coat. And uh, that's normal. And even if you don't bath the dog straight after this, because you don't have to, um, then uh, they will go away. Uh, after a few hours, they will disappear. But she's very dirty, and a lot of this dust that's coming through on her skin is dirt. So we're removing quite a lot um, out of her. Now, one more section that I would use the Coat King on is here at the top of her front legs, at the front of them. Uh, now, this is not part of her feathers because we don't want the feathers to grow in the front of the front leg. This is really thick and curly. And this is another section that I would, on her, use. Because this coat is going to be stripped and normally would be much shorter than your top coat on the back, I will use Coat King for that in every direction because that is just too thick and this strips out actually eventually really nicely. Hang on Bobby, I need you to look big cover. Good girl. So we'll just get rid of some of that thickness. This would this is a bit too thick for the rubber kind. It would take too long with the finger, so I'll just uh, help myself a little bit here. And then we'll go back just the front of this leg here. And you can do that there quite a lot because she has loads there. You're almost like a cocker spaniel there, my girl. Right, and uh -huh. not done yet, baby. No, lay down. I need your leg. Lay down. That's a good girl. And then we'll just take some more with the comb. Her shoulder gets really, she gets a lot of that kind in her shoulder. Like I said, some sections are worse than the others. Now, now we're going to pretend um, that three weeks gone by and I've done this and I'm coming back to work on this coat more. Now, some of the hairs that we've removed just now, they will would be driving back by now, but we've still got a lot to remove. Good girl. Um, and I will show you with the gloves how we're going to strip with fingers. I don't know if I can show you, she's got quite a nice coat there. Um, so you can see up close, there's nice shine, lay down. Um, there's a nice shine coming through here. Um, and you could maybe see some of those guard hairs, but a lot more needs to be stripped out of there. Um, right, so here we go. Just give her a little brush through like that. So, I'll put my gloves on, which are these lovely gardening gloves and they have a rubbery tips and uh, they are super grippy love them um, in England you can get them in TK Maxx for $2.99 normally they cost about 10 to 15 pounds but they're worth every penny and now uh, well the hand stripping with your fingers so here on her leg for example we want to also start clearing a nice line between her feathers and her front of the leg or the side um, so we can pull 
like this. Down here, there's lots of brown lilla fuzzy, so we're pulling them. Hair grows that way towards the feather. It sort of wraps around the leg. So we're pulling that way, and here we can just pull like this, and you'll group just a few hairs, uh, as you, just a few at once, and they come out really easy. Um, and we'll just pull out a few here. Again, so this is just our second session. Let's pretend that she had a three week break and the bath and everything between. Um, and now we've come back to clear a bit more. You see it's really coming out easy with these gloves. Um, um, and then you can, you can grip the coat this way. So your group, at the moment, everything is sticking out. So we'll just go through the sections, your shoulder, your neck, or however you divide it. And we'll just take a little bit, again, not too much in one spot, but we move around um, the dog and uh, the sections and just take the hairs out. So that's one way to grip hair. Or then what you can do, if you've got a thicker area, is you'll pick the coat up and uh, you, you hold it up and then you just pick what you're holding up and you are slowly letting go and moving. Um, moving up what? Good girl. Again. And same here. She's got these real bits sticking out here. So I'll pick it up between my fingers and everything that sticks out. Just gonna grab the tips and let's start letting go. And I'm moving through the layers. And we'll keep stripping. So I'll just try to do, for example, just to work on one section to see that after a few pulls, how much you can clear and the result that what we're trying to achieve, what we're trying to get with her. Steady, Bobby, steady. And you'll just pull in and pull in but I'm moving through the sections. I'm not working in one spot. And as you can see, this really takes a long time, which is why at the grooming salon, um, groomers are not going to do this for your pet sitters. So unless you do it yourself at home, um, you won't really stay on top of the coat. Some dogs have easy coats. Um, her code was always quite different than what my other boy has um, and I've really seen so much variation in set of codes, the Gordons mainly. Um, they all have, um, there's so many different types of coats. Uh, the curl, the wave in the coat, some are dextrate, some are getting really curly even if they have got really good texture so I can only show you good girl on what I have to work with um, and then we'll just keep so I'll just try to clean let's say this really messy elbow for you because as you I don't know if you can see it's there Bobby it is really really curly there so we'll try to just all right, lay down. Good girl. Let's see you go, boys. Good girl. You want to be, mummy, gonna make you a pretty girl. And we'll just uh, try to really quickly get it out. All right, Cheryl. Can I have your leg, please? I will show you stripping on the better coat as well, um, and that it's nowhere near as difficult as this. 
uh, time consuming. see we've been working on this quite a long time and we've not really gone uh, too far and that's why probably a lot of people don't do it the coats get neglected it is hard I've not really I found the way to shave for all off is just uh, much easier isn't it baby because you don't want the long hair so and actually being shaved off for her she looked a lot better, I have to say. Um, but she fell so ill last year, and uh, two, three years ago as well. And uh, she, she's not incontinent, but she, she's got a abnormally shaped bladder. So if her bladder gets full, she will leak. And that's why we've cut off all the feathers as well, because she's quite weak to keep having washes all the time. And she has to go, I have to keep an eye on her, make sure she goes to the toilet regularly. But I know I'm talking about you. Um, and then she's fine, so she's not incontinent as such. She can hold it, but it's because of her bladder. And the vet confirmed it was found by chance. Um, she, she had a few urine infections and of course it was blamed on a spray again and then we've done a scan and uh, she hasn't got this narrowing coming out of her bladder where your muscles are to hold that in hers is like a sausage shape and that's why when it gets too full she will just leak um, but and this has nothing to do with spay she was born this way so she would have had a bladder like that all her life. And we found it a few years ago. Um, so, worth checking out in case you have an incontinent setter with a little ultrasound because you might be able to manage it if you just send them out for a pee. She, she can pee on command. Yes, you can. We taught you that, didn't we? So, I keep an eye on it when she needs to go to toilet. But having had long feathers, um, if she did leak, it was too much to cope with. And that's why we shaved everything off. Because I wasn't sure. And she was facing many months on steroids, which was going to make her pee a lot. Um, and that's why the coat came off. But luckily, she uh, made a medical history. She's a little miracle girl. Uh, she's got another autoimmune problem where she loses her platelets. Uh, if uh, we're not careful with her thyroid dose. Um, so it's quite a lot to cope with. But right, we're getting somewhere, you see. There's still all of that that I've just brushed up that will have to be removed. Um, so I will just pause the video and I will strip a little bit more this way all over and then we will come back when she's had a bath uh, in a nice dry, then you baby? We'll make you pretty. And I'll show you that even at this point you can still blow dry them nicely and lay some of this coat a lot flatter uh, drying them correctly and uh, we'll keep working on it so I hope this helped and uh, we'll be back I'll show you when she's all bathed and dried what a difference already even this coat can make right I'll see you later it's the puppy. Good girl. Right. hi everybody and we are back with Shelby after her bath and the first round of um, stripping the coat and here she is, um, nicely blow dried. Uh, coat's look, laying pretty smooth, considering how much more work there still is. 
everything that pokes out. Um, uh, maybe if I'll take these. Should we come here? Should we come? That's it. Good girl. Stay there. Um, so everything still, there's a lot of uh, bolt that needs to come off. Um, and everything that sticks out um, will come off. But she's already starting to look a little bit better. And I'll just show you all the way around. Shell, good girl. Stay. And, and uh, there she is from the top line. I don't know if you can get a good look at her. And from the other side. Good girl, Shell. It's a good girl, and it's pretty. I'm starting to lay nice and smooth with the nice drying. But it, she'll be, look that way, stay. She's wondering what the phone is doing. Right, there's your loop. Don't, 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 don't. No, stay, stay. She'll be stay, stay. So that's uh, what we've got after the stage one stripping. Um, and there's a, a lot more bulk still to remove um, everything all these little bits that you can see that are sticking out and aren't laying flat that all will have to be removed um, but in stages as I said as I've done one the coat come back growing uh, all at the same length but layer it nicely um, when I was drying her, I could really see there's a lot of brown dead coat, um, but I could already see uh, the nice guard hairs, which is what we want to keep uh, and keep growing back just those and stay on top of the dead coat for a good girl. You are looking pretty, girl. I miss you are pretty. I have to help you down, so you just wait there. So thank you for watching, everyone. Um, and uh, we're going to be back keeping an um, update on her code and where we get in with her and um, happy combing and plucking in the meantime. See you later. Bye bye.